Hello, Peter here. So today I'm going to show you how to get your Intel HD graphics. So uh, I had some problems with my PC and I had to reinstall Windows. And uh, now I don't have any drivers, so this is a good occasion to show you how to get your Intel HD graphics. There are two ways in which you can do that. Firstly, let's go on Google. <laughs> uh, I don't have even my Chrome installed. So, the first variant. It's harder, but uh, I think it's the best one. You search for a processor name. For me, it's i3-6100. Uh, if you don't know what processor you have, uh, you type here dx dr. Okay. Press enter. No. You should wait a little because uh, this is scanning for all your computer hardware and it takes a while. So, processor. For me it's an i3-6100, like I said. Uh, just type your processor here. And then go to ARC. It's the site. Uh, here you have your graphics specification and uh, gra my graphics processor is Intel HD Graphics 530. This is going to be very helpful. Then we go to Intel to get our drivers for our video card. Remember, you need to type a processor, go to ARC and then check for your graphics model. Uh, go to products, uh, processors, oh no. Support maybe? Yeah. You go to support, uh, download drivers, and browse for drivers. And you just type your model. Okay. I have copied it from this site. Enter. And those are your latest drivers. Just click on them. Uh, you just download them. I usually recommend to download them in XA mode uh, and agree settings because in RAR you need to have uh, where are installed to and never mind run so while this is downloading I'm going to show you the second method so go to support and uh, to download the drivers and automatically find your drivers. Okay. This is going to give you a program called Intel Auto Detect that uh, detects your drivers and recommends your, late dri your latest drivers. But this, sincerely, I don't really trust it. I like to find my own drivers. But if you are not uh, good enough with searching for your processor, going on Intel Arc to search your graphics model. You might be pleased to see that Intel has give you this option. So now let's install the driver. Yes. You just next, 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 and that's it. So Intel driver update utility. Let's download it. Yeah. Okay. Run. So, right now I'm installing the driver that I uh, downloaded myself, searching uh, on the internet. Yeah, next. Yes, next. It's going to take a while because. Uh, the drivers are pretty big now. <laughs> I remember the days when the, I had an 80 Radeon graphics card and the drivers would be like 10 megabytes, stuff like that. This is 300 megabytes. So it's, it's a lot. It's incredible how far things have gone.
And I think I might cut this. Yeah, I should definitely cut this. Or maybe not. Depends. <laughs> it's doing its stuff. Next. No, I don't want to restart my computer. You should restart your computer, but right now I'm filming, so it's not a good idea. And so the second variant of installing your Intel HD graphics. Uh, after you download this Intel driver utility that uh, I downloaded earlier, it's going to pop up this agree install yes yeah 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 do your stuff okay and accept we can close our browser now. And launch Intel driver utility. This is going to scan for our hardware and uh, it's going to provide us with uh, the latest driver that it can find. So it should be okay. I said it again. I like to search for my own drivers. You should do that. And it's going to help you learn some things uh, with stuff that uh, you don't have automatically detection. But yeah, this is a variant too to get your drivers. So see, it has detected that uh, I have Intel HD Graphics 530. I can click on this, download, and then install it like I had with uh, the drivers that I downloaded off the internet. So it's going to be the same stuff, but this helps you if you are not uh, well prepared and searching, <laughs> I don't know. 